Hello everyone. Thank you for giving me a chance to open new doors to show you the doors of the watchtower and the hidden secrets they have given us through centuries till you open up the tarp and lift it up and see the real truth that has not been taught to you by the watchtower. Today I'm going to use Charles T. Russell. He was the founder of the Bible Students and Jehovah's Witnesses say that through this man, Charles T. Russell, formed Jehovah's Witnesses, which the Bible students of today saying that Charles T. Russell was not the founder of the Bible students, Judge Rockford is, which they are correct. Judge Rockford only take took a couple of teachings from Charles T. Russell and the rest of it he made up and most of it is taught today. We're going to be going through some of um, Jehovah Witnesses uh, leader Charles T. Russell photo drama of creation. Why am I going here? Well, I found some stuff in his uh, creation of this photo drama that needs to be bring out. Jehovah's Witnesses don't realize how crazy this man was and how crazy the watchtower is. If you can see the truth of the lies of the watchtower at the present time, why can't you see the truth of the lies from his photo drama of creation. So I'm going to play something and we will go from there. by the Greek and Egyptian historian Herodotus and Manetho. It shows Adam as the first pharaoh and Noah the twentieth, while the intermediate eighteen correspond with Genesis with remarkable accuracy. Mina's wife was Shesh, Hebrew Isha, woman. Her first son was Pharaoh second, Greek Peter Kent, guilty one, Hebrew Carnegie, Latin Athos, English Cain. The tablet for Abel represents him as the non-resistant one. The Abidus tablet shows the same order as Moses, giving first the line of Cain down to Jabal, who was taken. At that time, evidently, the gods and demigods began to fill the earth with violence. Petai's list omits the names of these. All demigods were destroyed in the deluge. Noah is next in order with a regal title. But since he was not of Cain's family, the Abidus tablet there goes back, mentions Abel and Seth, and Seth's line, just as given in Genesis, untitled, down to Noah. These all, as pharaohs, have their royal ovals, but no super titles. After Noah, no through Pharaoh 20th, the line runs through his son Ham, Jamu Chufu. Appropriately, Noah's other sons are ignored. For Shem and Japheth went to Asia and Europe, while only Ham went to Egypt. Thus wonderfully is the Bible being vindicated by the very inscription once supposed to contradict it. Moses was learned in all the wisdom of the Egyptians. Besides this, he was Jehovah's prophet and so certified by Jesus. Although Moses lived 2,000 years after Adam, history connected up very close to his time. From Adam to Moses, there were but five intermediaries. Methuselah, Shem, Isaac, Levi, Amram. 
whose lives overlap by periods ranging from 31 years to 243 years, as shown in our diagram. This is the name of the, the tablet, which the tablet is for real. You can Google it and you can see it for yourself on the, on the internet. The problem I have with this, the photo drawn is, is to bring people into becoming Bible students, plus being the truth of creation. My problem is why did Pastor Russell use a lie in the photo drama? He's saying since Moses was uh, Egyptian so that would make Noah and all the way back to Adam was Pharaoh's. Charles T. Russell, I have a little problem. Uh, one, Joseph had his family move to Egypt. Later down the line, history, Moses was born from Hebrew parents, and his mother did not want him to die, so she put him in a basket, and they put him down the river, and Pharaoh's daughter took the baby and raised him. He was not a descendant of Egyptians. Two, if the photo drama is supposed to be the true creation, this man was talking about from the beginning all the way down to the return of Christ. Why would he put a lie, of this case, on photo drama, there's a bunch of lies in his... Uh, presentation uh, he gave to many audience about the photo drama of creation. The reason I'm bringing this out, if this man was a lunatic for twisting things around and trying to impress people who think that he had knowledge, understanding the Bible, what kind of teaching he put in something at that time they thought it was good, but has too many lies in it. Doesn't this sound like Watchtower today? That everything they put together by the governed body has been proven a lie, deceit, dishonest. So I'm going to be making more videos. This is only going to be part one of this photo drama. And I found some more. It's very interesting that I'm going to bring out how Lucas this man was and how twisted his thinking was. And it's the same thinking of the governed body. The Bible students was misled by this man. Jehovah's Witnesses was misled by Judge Rutherford down to our day. So you got two groups came off of this man, which there are more, because I think there's three or four different types of Bible students that broke off from the original Bible students. Either way you look at it, because this man here is the reason why 
Jehovah's Witnesses and the Bible students are still in the chains of false doctrines and they don't do the research and see the truth behind the beginning of the delusional mind thinking that this is God's organization and it's being controlled by seven men and they are the governed body. People, you have to do your research like we did. Do I have a twisted mind? No. Do I have a bad, evil heart? No. The reason I bring these truths out and my videos is to wake up people, educate them the truth behind the real watchtower. They are no different than any religion. And the Bible says we come to Christ is our Lord, our mediator. Jehovah Witt says your mediator is the governed body. Their mediator supposedly be Christ. And that's a shame. And that's sad. I broke my bondage and chains from Watchtower to serve Christ. You're keeping your chains on to serve a false Christ it's called the governed body. And those are the ones that's controlling you. I'm going to be bringing out more photo drama to show how crazy this man is. To make a point that this man is crazy. And I only know a little about him. And I know a lot more about the governed body teaching and their past books of lies. Shouldn't that wake you up to realize you're in a dangerous cult? Something to think about. Well, y'all have a nice day, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.